Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Today I'm trying a recipe suggested to me by a chap called Brandon on YouTube. So, hey Brandon, uh, it's a Jamie Oliver recipe and it's called Sexy Swedish Buns. Now if you type that into Google, you might come across some other um, irrelevant content, but I promise you know this is actually looking darn good and this is what they look like. Um, it's from Jamie Oliver's um, Jamie Does book, so uh, go and buy that. It's when he went around Europe and it's blooming good, some wicked recipes in there. So uh, I made them, I've just had a bite of them and they are beautiful. This is how I made them, it's kind of intense, not too funny this one, but we got there in the end and uh, have a go, Let's see how you get on. Right here you go, so the first thing I've done is got myself a bowl of milk, 375 mils of that, I weighed it out in this jug and it is warm, I've just put it in the microwave. It's not boiling, but it is warm. Now grab a pack of yeast, uh, it says seven grams. Seven. Yeah, seven grams, pack it east, easy times. Just pour that in there. I get a spoon and stir it all in. Excellent okay, guys, so my yeast and my milk uh, is just chilling out over there, so don't need to do anything with that, but it's all blended in, which is good. Um, now we need to move on to the cardamom uh, pods. You can actually buy it ground as well, which is probably a bit easier. Um, now these are sort of like weird, funky spice apparently. I don't really... I don't even know what that is, I've probably even not pronounced it right, but what we need to do is uh, bash it up and actually get the seeds out of the middle of each one. I don't even see that. Get the seeds out of the middle of each one and then obviously ground that up as much as we can. So what I'm going to do is shove it in a plastic bag like that, give it a little bash with a rolling pin so I can take the shells out and then I'll have the seeds all in the bag and I'll just roll it over until they're nice and fine. So uh, let's do that. Okay, so my seeds are in there, just going to give them a little bash. I kind of hear it popping actually so I can see that they're splitting open. That's cool. Right, there we go. If I get close enough, you can see those, there's some of the seeds there sort of uh, all falling out. So I need to get rid of the green shells. So pull your shell up. Exit in, so I've just got the seeds left in there and there's a the shell and I've just given that a massive bash with my rolling pen and a steel wheel and I'll roll over it to crush them as much as I can. So that is how I am going to crush my card and my mum, my mum, my mum. Okay, so now grab a bowl with two eggs. Okay, so crack your eggs and then get in a little sprinkle of salt apparently. Whisk it all together, add your cardamom seeds, which I've actually put into a shot glass, 200 grams of castor sugar, 50 grams of melted butter, it's kind of looking cool, and 500 grams of plain flour, wow, it's like an avalanche going over it, look at that. Now we've got to stir that all together and then we'll add in our yeast mixture, good times. Right here, so I've transferred bowls and added in the yeast mixture as well and I'm stirring that all around so you just want to make sure it's all blended in and apparently it should resemble a thick gooey paste and that kind of looks like that. So keep going for a little bit. Right, that's looking good. Now you want to just gradually pour in the rest of your 300 grams of flour gradually until it makes a dough. So I'm going to do like half at a time I think. Right here, so that's a lot more dough like. You now need to get your hands, your clean hands by the way, covered in plain flour and really bring it together. Well, that's what the book says anyway, so let's do that. Right here then guys, so I've brought the dough all together, washed my hands and sprinkled the last bit of flour on there. All we've got to do now is just put a sheet of cling film over the top. Right here then guys, cling film's on, boing boing boing. Put that away for an hour to warm and then we'll move on. Okay, so I've grabbed my bowl and I've got 400 grams of blueberries in there. Now pour in 75 grams of castor sugar. Nice. Now the peel of an orange. Wow. Kind of colourful that. And give it a good squeeze of orange juice in there as well. That's like a decent half, a decent wedge of orange juice in there. Now mash it all together with a potato peeler. Donk, donk, donk. Right, so the blueberries are all blended in there. They're still fairly chunky, but put that to one side. Move on to our baking tray. Okay, next grab a baking tray and put some grease free paper on with a couple of knobs of butter spread out along there. Righty ho, so I've just put the knobs of butter on there and sprinkled it with 30 grams of demerara sugar so you can just see that on there so you can put that tray to one side again right here then guys that's been an hour got it out and look it's risen it's all funky and like feels and smells like a bakery oh yes so that is going to go on the chopping board there which i've dusted with flour i'm going to stretch it out so uh do that exit so that's all rolled out so now what i'm doing is getting a slotted spoon with my blueberries on there and just putting it out there spreading it with the back of my spoon across all of the dough so do that Ta -da! That is all on there. So apparently now what we need to do is fold up the edges like an envelope. So uh, let's do that and see how it goes. 
Right, here then, guys. The folding bit went a little bit crazy for me. I, I just folded and then I just turned it and twisted it. I should have filmed it, really, but it just got crazy. My hands were dirty. But this is what I was left with. A nice big clump of blueberry dough. Um, it got a bit gooey, so I added some flour where necessary, and that is it. So I'm just going to pull bits out of that. I'm going to do little bits at a time. Make it into a long sausage shape, and then we're going to dangle it around so it curls up like a bit like a top of an ice cream with a cone, or maybe a... Um, uh, dog mess, yeah. Um, and then we're going to plonk it on our tray. So, uh, let's do that. Okay, so chopping board into a long sausage shape and dangle that onto your tray like that, like a spiral sort of shape. So I'm going to look like I'm going to have space for six because you need a little bit of room to spread them out. So uh, I'm going to do that and do the same. Okay, so that's all of that done. And you might see I've actually formed a well in the top. So what we need to do now is pour some more blueberries in each of those and um, add some juice as well. Cool. There we go then guys, so I've topped it all up with a bit more juice as well and added some more demerara sugar, another 35 grams and also finished off with a little bit more orange peel. There's some there. Cool, huh? So now we've got to put that to side to warm for 20 minutes with a tea towel over it, apparently. That's what it says. And then we need to get it in the oven for 25 minutes. So this has been pretty intense, but we are nearly there. In the oven any minute now, then in our bellies. Ooh. Right here, so they've gone in the oven for 25 minutes until golden and crispy. Um, if you're like me, you've got one heck of a mess in your kitchen, so you need to tidy up pronto before the other half finds out. And you might have some leftover dough. I shove mine in a cake tin to make a, a cake. So uh, yeah, see you in 25 minutes. Right here then guys, it's been 25 minutes. I've got it out the oven, off the baking tray, onto a plate. Check this out, they are looking good. Boom, look at that. And then you look at the drawing of what it's supposed to, that's actually a picture of what it's supposed to look like. That's a pretty darn good effort. So thanks uh, Brandon for suggesting me to try this one. And ultimately thanks to Jamie Oliver for the recipe. And remember if I can make that recipe, anyone can, any one of you in the world, promise, promise, promise. Have a go for yourself, let me know how you get on and I will see you again next time. Bye.